Okay, two things that I need to explain that I didn't explain so well in this exercise. Number one, somatics. Number two, value conflicts. So, somatics. This is a somatic exercise. Whatever I'm telling you to look for, even if I'm having you look for thoughts, I'm suggesting that you find feelings in the body, either the felt sense of something that seems to be inside of you or outside of you, uh, you're looking for textures, thickness, those sorts of things. And the main reason why you're looking for them is because weird feelings start to come up. That's the activation and release cycle. Let the weird feelings come up. Invite them to come up. As long as you're not becoming emotionally unhinged, uh, then, then keep inviting it. If it's becoming too much, just stop the exercise and keep yourself safe. Number two, the value conflicts. There's going to be value conflicts that show up. Usually it's something that at some point was important to you that you held dear and there was a valid reason for holding it dear. Don't fight it. Don't try to set aside your values. Love them into consciousness so that they don't keep hijacking the things that you want. Bring them into consciousness. Take them into account as you pursue what you now want so that they are not in conflict anymore. We're resolving conflicts here. We're helping you be your very best best self and take that into these new relationships that you're gonna be forming. You and I just talked about the ideal kind of person that you wanna have in your life and how frustrating it is that it's hard to find these people, it's hard to get close to these people. And it feels like whenever there is someone who is like that, there's something that sits between you and them. So let's work on that right now and we're gonna work on it through the body. So think about that idealized person. Think about some, whether it's somebody you've already met or just sort of a perfected version of them or a conglomerate person who represents the kind of person that you want as your person, the person you really wanna have in your life, the person you really wanna have close to you. And so what I'm gonna invite you to do right now is consider that there is something inside of you that keeps being unconsciously gratified by the fact that they are not close to you, that they're not in your life. There are fears that need to be welcomed and uh, I'm gonna suggest that we start to activate them and that you irreverently pursue them, that you welcome the fears. If they make you tremble, if they make you tingle, if they make you sweat, if they make you uh, feel sick inside, you want to welcome them into your awareness and let the feelings start to transform. So go ahead and think about that person over there. Don't let them necessarily uh, see you all the way but go ahead and imagine what keeps them from being able to be close to you. If you have to have them looking right at you to activate those feelings, great. Have that happen. Now, is there a barrier between you? Is there something inside that is trying to repel or push them away? Is there something else like that? Go ahead and look for the shape of it, how thick it is, whether it's inside your body or between the two of you. And as you touch into the feeling of that thing that sits between you and them, uh, notice what the worry is. And honestly, the worry could be just about uh, anything that might come up. Is the worry, I'm worried they're going to see me for who I really am? Is the worry that they're going to see who I am and leave me? Is the worry that they're going to put demands on me that I'm not going to be able to meet? And ultimately, either they'll leave me or I'll leave them. Regardless of what it is, your job is to irreverently pursue the feeling. Don't just stay with the content. The content isn't enough to heal you or transform your inner experience. I'm going to invite you to let the worries come up in whatever words or images or thoughts emerge and pursue the feeling doggedly. Pursue the feeling looking for anything awkward, wrong, sad, angry, fearful. And as long as you can tolerate it, bring it up, welcome it. Tell your defensive processes that start trying to quell it, oh no guys, we actually need this to actually course through our bodies and we're gonna be able to handle this. If you're not able to handle it in the exercise, but your job right now is to pursue it deliciously, irreverently, like, you, like you're drinking something that tastes bad for the purpose of knowing that it's gonna make you feel so alive inside. Keep doing it, keep breathing with it, 
let it heat, let it tremble, let it cry, let it do whatever it does. And you're going to win and you're going to come out on top and you're going to stop keeping yourself from the people that really belong in your life.